coding is is pretty much dead, but engineering is very much not. And so you can clearly say the the floor has been lowered, so everybody becomes a developer. Yeah. There's almost no indication that the ceiling has also been lowered. In fact, the, the companies that are the most aggressively using AI are also hiring the most. And so my, my belief is this is widening the aperture of the people that can code, which is going to require more code, which means more operations. And so the tent gets a lot bigger. I think the ceiling actually goes up. It doesn't come down because now the problems become much harder. You're going to have professional developers and engineers, and they're going to be, you know, put to work, and then you're going to have a bunch of new coders that are coming in. There's a separate question, which is, what does this do for SaaS? I, I just want to submit something before the next question, which is, I've been investing in infrastructure and enterprise for 10 years. I will tell you, SaaS has never been a technology problem, ever. Yeah. It's just not hard. Like, if you have, if you build a SaaS app, it's not, it's not hard. It's never been hard, right? And so the question is, is why do people buy SaaS? And the answer is, is you're buying a business process. Right, it's a business process that's been understood by another company that tells you how to run your business. It's never been about the technology or the software, so I don't think it changes that dynamic much either. 